on focus on me and, and I'll, okay. I'll uh, I don't know how much of a shot I am now, but is that alright? Yeah. Is that alright? Yeah. Hi, welcome uh, to the rehearsals for um, Why Scotland and Why Us Kilbride. Um, I've decided to video blog uh, some of the explanation for the science um, that we're doing. Uh, the first piece of kit that we've got here is um, a um, hot plate. Um, we're going to heat this uh, to um, about 50, 60 degrees and we're going to put a couple of chemicals on this um, behind a fan. Um, the idea is, is um, the chemicals um, will evaporate and the, um, um, the smell or, or um, the odour of the chemicals will, will um, be um, wafted across um, the auditorium. Um, so we spent quite a lot of time um, kind of looking at this, trying to get um, the levels right. You've got to be able to smell it, but it, um, we don't want it to harm anybody. Um, and um, there's a little bit on the blog about um, science behind that, why we're using what chemicals um, we're going to um, try this out with. Um, next part of what we're doing, um, you very, very rarely see this now. Uh, this is a liquid-liquid extraction. Uh, you can see that you've got a couple levels there. Uh, um, the um, layer at the bottom is um, water. Um, the layer at the top is an organic solvent, which in this case is, um, is um, olive oil, just um, um, a simple olive oil um, but, um, um, purchased from a shop. Um, in a real lab, it would be um, something a bit nastier, like maybe um, dichloromethane or um, chloroform or something like that. And um, the idea behind this was that um, you might um, dissolve up a sample, um, but there might be parts of that sample that you wanted to get rid of. So you would um, use this um, liquid-liquid extraction technique to take, uh, to take out the parts of the sample that um, you didn't want. Um, very, very common in um, labs in um, the 70s. Very um, time-consuming, um, very fiddly, um, usually involved um, dangerous um, solvents, um, very rarely done now. Um, another rarely done technique is uh, this one. Um, um, uh, this is a titration. Again, in the 60s and 70s, this was a standard piece of kit um, for measuring um, um, chemicals in a sample or, or um, the amount of a particular material. Um, I haven't actually used um, a piece of kit um, like this um, since I trained. You do do titrations, but they're all done automatically now. Um, some of them are done using um, electronic um, kind of resources as well. It's um, quite um, sophisticated. Um, all this kit here is actually borrowed from a, um, 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 a training lab, which we have at the University of Strathclyde, um, because in my professional capacity as a chemical analyst, um, I haven't seen this kind of kit in um, 15 years. Um, the final thing that we're doing, uh, part of the performance, is a mouth um, pipetting. Um, which uh, we do uh, using a bicarbonate solution, and I'll show you what the mouth um, pipetting is. It's a, it's a simple procedure um, where you use um, the pipette almost like a straw. Now, um, this, um, in the generation of analytical chemists before me, uh, almost Everybody knew someone who'd had their mouth really badly burned by that procedure. Um, I had a colleague who um, got into trouble for refusing to mouth pet um, blood products. Uh, this was a number of years ago. Um, it's now completely banned in labs. The problem is, and I'll try and demonstrate on this water, is that if, you, if the end of the pipette comes out of the liquid while you're sucking... Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. If the end of the pipette comes out um, liquid while you're sucking, uh, the viscosity of um, the air um, is far less than the viscosity of um, kind of water. Um, so it all sucks up into your mouth. Um, and if that's um, um, a base or um, some kind of acid, you are going to burn the inside of your mouth and burn it quite badly. Um, it's it's, it's um, not a technique that I've ever seen done uh, professionally. Um, as I say, it's now um, completely banned and completely frowned upon. Um, but in the 70s was a um, very common practice. So, um, if you were at the performance, um, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is just a little bit of the explanation. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, the pH indicator, there's a little bit on um, the blog about that. That is uh, an extract of um, red cabbage. Um, you put hot water on, uh, on um, chopped up red cabbage um, for half an hour. Um, and um, if you take a look at the blog, there, there's an explanation of um, the science behind that, why we get a colour change from... Um, blue alkali um, to red acid. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks very much.